I'm sure you've heard the term stay inside the ball before, but you might not know exactly what that means. Well, I'm going to show you exactly why we want to stay inside the ball today. Okay. So this setup that we have right here, we're mimicking a fastball coming into the zone. All right. And we're going to focus on hitting this middle pitch. All right. So the big issue I see with players today is they always try to pull the ball, right? So I want you to focus on what happens when I try to pull this middle pitch, okay? So in order to pull it, my hands have to come out away from my body in order for me to yank this pitch. But look what happens if I'm a little bit late. I get jammed. If I'm perfectly on time, I can barrel that up and have some success. But if I'm a little bit out front, I'm hitting that ball off the end of the bat every single time, okay? And that's why a lot of dead pull hitters hit 220, right? It's because their bat is not in the zone throughout their entire swing. Their timing has to be perfect in order for them to barrel the ball up, okay? So here's why staying inside the ball is so important. So if I'm doing the same thing, I'm focused on hitting this middle pitch, and I relax my hands, and I drive my hands inside the ball, well, now look what happens. A little bit late, I'm able to barrel that ball up. If I'm perfectly on time, I'm able to barrel that up and hit that back up the middle. A little bit out front, I'm still able to barrel that ball up and drive it to the left center field gap. So the reason that we want to stay inside the ball is because it's going to allow us for our timing to be off but we're still able to barrel the pitch up because our sweet spot of the bat stays in the zone throughout our entire swing. 